Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Today we're going to see how can you fit or how can you use a very heavy model like Bloom 176, I think 176 Bloom 176 billion parameter or OPT 175 billion parameter. How can you run these big models like large language models on a single machine or single GPU? And for that, we are going to use a new library called BNB Bytes. So BNB Bytes is a lib, sorry, Bits and Bytes is a library that we're going to use. And the entire content that you're going to see on this particular video is not created by me. I just simply took it from um, this post, um, this document that Tim Detmers shared. So thanks to Tim Detmers for sharing this document. So now what's happening here? So if you see this, um, you can actually see that, um, so you have got models and you have got computers like machines and you have got GPU memory and you can see how uh, the largest model like uh, the, the, the actual original model could be run on um, using using the 8 bit and 16 bit precision. So and you can see the details. So what is happening um, in the background is um, if you are familiar with the concept of tiny ML, you know that one of the ways people reduce the size of a model is something called quantization. So quantization is a process of, um, um, I'm oversimplifying the definition, but quantization is a process where you take your uh, floating points, which is, which is quite common in your neural networks and then bring it to a lower order. Like, like for example, you're going to make it int eight. So that's what it says int eight. So you're, you're changing the bits and bytes and then you're converting it into int eight. And, um, what, what is happening today is, that you can do this for a hugging face models with just one line of code change. You don't have to do anything big. You don't have to change anything a lot. All you have to do is just include one line of code, install a couple of libraries. And in one line of code, you will be able to use OPT 175B or Bloom 176B. This is super huge. These are like super heavy, huge models. Like I was, I never knew that I could use this on Google Colab, but today, thanks to, thanks to the work, Tim Dittmers and the team has done, uh, you can use it. If you want more details about it, there is a document that talks about the details about the mission, the comparison and what's happening here. And um, you know, uh, like what kind of computers and how do you have to do it? I'll not get into the detail here, but what we are going to see now is two cases. One, I'm going to create, I've, I've got a Google Colab, which is just um, Tim's Google Colab. I've got this Google Colab and as you can see, I have enabled GPU, but what I've done is um, you can see that I just simply installed the transformers and then you can see the machine I got from Google. It's a Tesla T4 machine. Despite having Tesla T4 machine, when I tried to load a 3 billion model and at the end of when the model downloaded, you can see that my session has crashed because I have used all available RAM. And Google says, if you are interested in getting more RAM runtime, please buy Google Colab Pro, which I don't have money for, so I don't want to buy. So what I'm trying to show here is, even for a 3 billion model, 3 billion parameter model, the problem is your Google Colab cannot handle your 3 billion parameter model because, you know, it's a huge model. It's so heavy that your uh, 16 GB, I think 16 gig memory cannot handle it from the Google Colab. What does it mean? It means until, unless you do something like quantization, you cannot use a 3 billion parameter model on Google Colab. And now comes the best part. Thanks to the Google Colab notebook that uh, Tim, Tim and Tim's team has put together. So what we are seeing here is hugging face meets bits and bytes for lighter models on GPU for inference. And uh, you can see there is a logo for it. And all you have to do is um, if you want to run your own 8-bit model on um, any hugging face model, like you take any hugging face model and you want to like basically do the quantization or uh, eight, run, run the 8-bit model, first install bits and bytes. Uh, it's available on PyPy. Second, install the latest hugging face transformers library. And third, install the accelerate library from hugging face. So you need three libraries. I mean, usually you would install only the transformers, but now you need three libraries. After you install three libraries, make sure that you have got GPU enabled. And when you get GPU, just make sure that you have got the right machine. In this case, if you are going to use it on Google Colab, you need T4 GPU at least. So 
if you don't get t4 gpu then um, then restart it like re disconnect it re um, and reconnect it there is a chance that you might get G, uh, t4 but if you are not using google collab like let's say you are using paper space um, let's say you are using some other service provided then you can check for these missions now the pitch here is that you can use such a large language model or like large model from hugging face just on a single gpu so what do you have to do for it you don't have to do anything special for example you are going to use a very simple code this almost the same code name of the model uh, the prompt text uh, like these these are like model parameters like name of the model and this is your input text prompt text and maximum how much tokens you want and then you have got uh, the tokenizer um, that would tokenize it and then you have got uh, certain details um like the function generated from model but you know even like if you do not want to use this if you just simply want to use hugging face pipeline you can still do it the way you can do it is from transformers import pipeline and pipeline what is a model name the model name is you want to use big science bloom 3 billion parameter model which we just saw that it crashed our google collab session i mean we just literally saw that it crashed our google collab session so we're going to do the same thing here and after we do that we are going to send some model quirks which is um, the device map which is auto and we are going to say load in 8 bit is equal to true so we are telling the model um, pipeline to load the model in 8 bit that's it this is this is the only thing that you are going to do add extra other than installing the libraries the required libraries and what happens next is pure magic because not just your model is successfully downloaded without crashing your RAM. You can see that the RAM went up and down. You can see that it went up and down. Like it, 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 it is not that it is not using RAM, but you can generate text. Like you can take the text and generate it. Like for example, I can, I can say, I love one little coder YouTube channel, and I hope it doesn't show anything bad. And um, I mean, I just want to say that it's the same computer. It's the same machine, Tesla T4 and uh, Tesla T4 here. Like if you're wondering how am I running two GPU session, um, it's two different Gmail IDs. I mean, there is no other black magic to it. So you can see it's the same computer, but because we used um, bits and bytes, we are able to successfully load the 3 billion parameter model on our Google Collab environment and it says, I love one little code YouTube channel. I've been watching it for a while. I love the way he explains things and the way I, I mean, should I be happy about the compliment that I got from Bloom? Um, I think I should be happy. Like maybe the artificial intelligence future, um, future leader is going to appreciate me. Maybe I can use this as a proof, but you know, jokes aside that we have successfully managed to load the 6 billion, sorry, 3 billion parameter model. And it just takes only one line of, transformers uh, pipeline and just one extra argument which is model quarks with two values device map and load in 8 bit that's it that's all you had to do to load a large language model which was not previously possible to load on a google collab and notebook on a tesla t4 machine but now you can do it because thanks to the 8-bit quantized model using bits and bytes on the go just directly from hugging face. I mean, you didn't have to do anything. Like for example, let's say you don't want to do that. You don't want to use pipeline. You like the flexibility that you have got. Then all you have to do is um, specify the, the, the model um, that you want to download. For example, auto model for causal LM and then auto tokenizer. I want to run it. Probably it might take a little bit of time um, because it has to download. But then you can see that here you are passing these two arguments, which is device map is equal to auto load in 8 bit is equal to true. And then you have the same tokenizer. The next thing is you're going to refer back to this section of the function that you created with the tokenizer model or generate, and then you're going to decode very simple stuff that you do all the time with hugging face. And then when you say generate from model, it's going to finally generate the result right now, you know, you can see that. We have already loaded the model so i'm not sure like you can see the system ram peaking um, i'm not sure if it will work the reason why i'm saying it may not work is because i've already you know managed to download a very heavy model so maybe the ram is occupied even if it fails the point is if you just do this it's going to work so the point that you are you see is it's not just you are able to load 
the quantized model i mean that's that's something that's quite obvious right everybody knows that you can load quantized model um, when you quantize model size reduces so you you would be able to but the point is it loads without degrading uh, the performance oh it it finished let me try generate from model and it's going to maybe generate yeah it says hello my name is john maybe i should give the same text I should I should give this text here okay where is the function so the function text 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 as input okay let me give this as text run this once I mean this is going to set the parameters and then go back let me close this and I want to say generate from model and it's going to generate I love one little coder YouTube channel and I've been watching it for a while now and you can see that there is the like so this is this is as same as this but instead of using pipeline we are using the model but when you are trying to do it just um, without uh, without the quantized model still it would do like for example instead of saying load in 8 bit you can actually say torch um, and d type is auto and then you can load it i think that will most likely crash your google collab session but you know i don't want to do that but the point here is um you are you are using a quantized model which is lesser in size like smaller in memory footprint but also it doesn't degrade the performance i think this is brilliant um so you can see the difference in int 8 model and uh, you can see the floating point 16 model so basically what quantization is doing is at every stage of the neural network it's uh, taking all the floating point values that is uh, fp8 16 and then quantizing it to int 8 um, again i'm not i'm not, i'm oversimplifying the process but you can see what's happening so you can see that this i mean what they're saying is that we have saved 1.65x almost closer to two double of the memory for a 3 billion parameters model note that internally we replace all the linear layers by the ones implemented in bits and bytes by scaling up the model the number of linear layers will increase therefore impact of saving memory on those layers will be huge for very large models for example quantizing bloom 176 billion parameter model gives a gain of 1.9 x memory footprint which can save a lot of computer power in practice imagine you have to self-host this model i mean i cannot tell you how much this can save um, memory cost i mean carbon footprint like come from any any angle i think this is amazing um, and i think this is really good uh, for the fact that people can now load these models on a single gpu if you have got a gpu at home now you'll be able to host a model and then serve it and i think this is quite amazing this google collab notebook i'll link it in the youtube description please give a shout out to tim um, I'll, I'll i'll do the same thing when i publish this video but please give, give a shout out to tim and uh, Tim's team for making this amazingly simple. I mean, what I like about this entire process, I don't have to learn a lot to do quantization, learn how to do quantization, go layer by layer. I don't have to do any of those things. All I have to do is install a couple of libraries like bit, bits and bytes and accelerate and just make sure that I've got the right machine. And that's it, add, add, add just a parameter and then my job is done and then the the, the library takes care of everything and then I'm able to use a very large language model on a free service that Google has given me. I think this is absolutely brilliant. Um, I would really like to thank Tim and the team for making this um, amazing, amazing advancement. I think they are still yet to publish the details on the research. Um, so we can, we can wait for that. But for now, make sure that you enjoy this amazing opportunity and also thank the team. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Peace.